So guys, we are back with Gabby and we are hanging out with the dear sweet Marisol. So Marisol asked to meet with Gabby at this restaurant because she wanted to talk to her about something. And Gabby was like, oh, of course, you know, she looks at Marisol as a very sweet younger sister. You know, she did have that date with Marco and Gabby just really didn't think twice about it. She really likes Marisol's, you know, vibe and her style and everything. And these two have a lot in common, like, you know, Marisol is a model and Gabby is a fashion designer aka a wedding boutique owner now and I think Marisol had to get up and go to the bathroom really quickly but Marisol brought Gabby here today because she wants to ask Gabby if it's okay if she goes on a date with Marco now I know what you guys are thinking I'm just gonna pause you're like wow last episode he wasn't ready well we are in a whole new season now we <laughs> were in spring then so it's been a few months maybe two months at this point she's still talking to Brandon they still hook up every now and then they still have not woohooed because Gabby cannot bring herself to do it just yet um, I think she needs like some courage or something I don't know <laughs> but um, you know they haven't woohooed yet and and it's been a few months, maybe two at the most, I'd say one or two. And you know, Marco is in a better place now. And he and Marisol have been talking a lot. And Marisol wants to make sure it's okay with Gabby before she dates him, even though Gabby would not care. Gabby, you know, she would be like, go ahead. Like, it's totally fine. But Marisol just wants to be respectful. And apparently Ronnie is the waiter here. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but it's very sweet of Marisol to think that she, you know, should ask Gabby first. Now, I don't know what's going on with the service here. It's kind of slow. It might be because Ronnie is the server. I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to go to the bathroom really quickly. I don't even know where Marisol... Oh, Marisol was in the bathroom. Maybe she was trying to um, boost herself up. Now, somebody did break this toilet for some reason. That's really weird. Somebody did break this toilet. Now, I know you guys saw the option for me to take a pregnancy test, but I assure you, Gabby is not pregnant. I will literally go in here right now and go to MC Pregnancy, and as y'all can see, she's not pregnant <laughs> because she did not woohoo with him. They were just fooling around. But um, I know some of y'all would have, like, taken that and ran with it. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I guess Marisol was trying to give herself some confidence so that way she could ask Gabby. She's probably super nervous about this, and I feel for her because she doesn't have to be Gabby is such an approachable person, especially with Marisol. Like, she really likes Marisol. Um, but let's go ahead and have a see. Our food did just arrive. Marisol got herself a root beer float. It's her favorite drink. And she got this volcano pasta, which looks absolutely delightful and gabby has um artisan fish trio and then she also has her favorite drink which is a fizzy fruity drink and we're gonna sit down and just talk to marisol and have us a good time i probably shouldn't have sat near the door but i guess it's okay gabby's like oh my gosh I'm, it looks so good i'm so happy i don't know if you guys know but when my sons look at their food like this it's just so precious also i have to get a picture but yes hopefully marisol can confidently ask gabby if it's okay for her to date marco she's been had her nerves twisted so long and she's just she's ready she wants to go on this date with marco now some of you may not know but this episode is going to be a marco episode we're with gabby right now but oh i guess the food was not good <laughs> we are with gabby right now but we are going to be with marco later in the day and it's gonna be so fun because hopefully things go well i'm sure they will when marisol asks gabby if it's okay and then marisol and marco are gonna go on a date i was so excited but but um, I guess we'll just talk to her right now and tell her an outrageous story. She's like, so you know that I'm talking to Brandon, right? Like, we've been messing around and everything. But, girl, I have no idea how to woohoo with him. Like, I'm just so nervous. I don't know if I'm just not ready or what. But I'm just, I don't know what to do. She's like, I'm so awkward. I'm, like, stiff as a robot. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and Marisol's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> She doesn't know what to think because Marisol's never been in a friends with benefits relationship. So she's like, well, Gabby, you're a really great girl. So, I mean, you'll know and you're really smart. So you'll know when you're ready. Like, don't rush yourself. If you're not ready, don't play yourself. You're just not ready. Like, that's okay. I feel like Marisol is very wise beyond her years. And I love that about her. And, oh, look at Gabby. She's like, well, thank you so much. I feel like I needed to hear that because I've been feeling like I need to hurry up and woohoo with him. But I guess you're right. I can take it slow you know we are getting to know each other and she's like yeah like safe woohoo is great woohoo so just be very smart about it and just 
you're ready when you're ready like don't rush yourself gabby it's okay <laughs> okay guys so we are here it is the moment of truth it looks like marisol is asking gabby if it's okay if she goes on a date with marco as y'all can see the bubble here has popped up and she's smiling she's super excited about this opportunity and she hopes that gabby says yes or hopes she has some positive words about marco i don't know gabby was like i think it would be a good idea if you and marco go out together i think you guys have a lot in common and i think that you could really help him through a lot of things and ground him almost and she's like oh my gosh it's like music to my ears Gabby I was so nervous about you saying no and everything so I guess this is a good <laughs> a good thing she's feeling so uncomfortable and awkward at the same time but she's so happy that Gabby has said yes and Gabby's like well you know what I think that you and Marco should go on a date for sure and she's like oh my gosh it's so crazy how supportive you are about this and she's like well you know I know Marco's a great guy he's just not a great guy for me and she said Marco sounds like a catch I'll introduce myself to him when I see him let's pretend she didn't say that but more so she's like yeah I mean I think we would get along really well and I probably should get to know him and Gabby's like yeah just let me know how the day goes if you have any questions or anything I can definitely answer those for you Marco's not super complicated by any means he's complicated for me because you know we went to high school together and we grew up together so we have a lot of history but I think you'll do great and Marisol's like really you think I'm gonna do a great job she's feeling super confident now look at her with her little hands on her hips we love this like sisterhood vibe that these two have she's like you're gonna do so good and yeah like i said just let me know how the date goes i'd love to hear okay guys so it is later in the day and marco is here with miss marisol they are on their date and he wanted to greet her with a hug he's like oh my gosh thank you for coming out on the second date with me i'm starving and marisol's like oh my god of course like you know, I've waited for you to ask me on a date. I was actually going to ask you on a date. I talked to Gabby earlier today, and he's like, you talked to Gabby? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I wanted to make sure it was okay before we came out here. You know, I know you guys have history. And he's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's history. So don't worry about that. Like, I'm definitely ready and in a better place to move forward in my life. So... Let's try to enjoy tonight and focus on ourselves and enjoy the dinner. She's like, oh, you're so funny. Look at how silly she is. I love her energy. And he just like burst out laughing. Can we just appreciate how sweet these two are already? <laughs> but let's grab us a table. I was thinking about finding somewhere. I wish I had one on the dock. That way we could sit out here together. But we could sit here, I guess. So we'll request this table and sit down and get us something to eat maybe dance a little bit and enjoy each other's company maybe get in the ocean i don't know i'm just so excited to see marco in a better place y'all honestly like as much as i put marco through the ringer in this series i do love to see him thrive um so we're gonna grab us a table she's looking adorable in her dress i think this is the same dress she wore with gabby so she's probably just wearing the same outfit she's had on today but we'll grab us a table oh my god yes marco sit down with your girl she's so cute <laughs> Mar he told marcel to get whatever she wants you know the the limit is just nowhere the limit is sky or whatever you want to say and um he was just paying his bills really quickly and we are going to go ahead and order for the table she's like marco you can order for me this is what i'd like to eat and um yeah thank you again so much for coming out here with me he's like of course um so marco is going to get some iced tea that sounds amazing and i think that we're gonna get a sunset valley for miss marisol and then for our meal ooh, all this food looks so good i think marisol is gonna treat herself to some herb crusted salmon and marco wanted the same thing these two even order the same things for the most part and maybe we'll get some dessert we'll just have to see how it goes but let's go ahead and place our order so Marco is placing the order for them and he wanted to go ahead and tell Marisol she looks beautiful tonight. She's like, thank you so much. You look good too, Marco. I feel like Marisol has been waiting for this for a very, very, very long time. I think I want to even offer her a rose tonight. Marco's not the type to give flowers, but he thinks that Marco, Marisol, their names are so close. Marisol deserves flowers and oh, she loves it. She feels like she's being what's the word courted almost i want to embrace her and give her a hug he's so happy to be out here with her and i think we might even try to oh should we kiss her hands i don't think so i think i'll um 
hold her hands. Aww. She's like, I'm just so happy to be here with you, Marco. And attractiveness alert throughout the conversation marco got the impression that marcel finds him quite attractive making him wonder if he has the right idea what does that mean what okay so i don't know what that means exactly but um marco garcia thinks marcel is very attractive and then it also says that there is a romantic interest it's too early to tell but there could be there could definitely be something there and marco's sentiments about marisol is he finds her adoring marco just wants the best for marisol and thinks she is so wonderful i like that um let's try to get to know her a little bit more i feel like that's where we really find and if we are, you know, compatible. So let's talk about, oh my gosh, where is it at? <laughs> Not fertility. Oh gosh. Um, I don't see it. This, it's not there yet. That's kind of weird. Um, maybe we can ask her about her career. Like, what do you do? I know we kind of missed that on our first date. So I'm going to ask you what, what's your career. And Marco has learned that Marisol is a posh profiler at Smooge Inc. Okay. Um, as I told you all earlier in the episode, she is a model. So that's what she does. She does like social media stuff for the most part. And we are going to express admiration about her. He's so into her. It says that he wants to woohoo with somebody, but we are not woohooing with Miss Marisol. We are taking this slow with her. Um, what's this option here? Ask someone to go study. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, let's go study, Marisol. Oh, they're so cute. I love this. Oh, she wants to kiss him and she's thinking about proposals. She's really into Marco, guys. I love this. Look, her smiling at him. I know some of you all have been waiting for this for a long time, and I have been waiting as well. They are just so stinking cute. Like, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> He's feeling super confident about his date with Marisol. As a matter of fact, I was going to have them come out here and try to slow dance together if it's an option. I don't think I can dance with that one, but I could probably slow dance here. So let's turn it on and let's turn on to some island radio. I know that's probably not the appropriate like slow dance stuff, but I think it would be so cute to see them slow dance together. So let's slow dance with Marisol. Aww. I love this date. This is a good, good date. I haven't had one of these in a long time. So I think they're going to, where are y'all going to go dance at? Are y'all going to dance out here? Oh, I mean, it's kind of awkward, but <laughs> my heart. Oh my God. The spin, y'all. He spun her around. I want to get another picture of him doing that because that was just super cute. Marco, please, one more time. Oh no, don't, don't stop. Let me try to do it one more time, guys. Oh, I got it, y'all. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I feel like Marisol was made for Marco. Shifty eyes, because I did make her for him. <laughs> um, But they were, they were like made for each other. Oh my gosh. They, they just look so perfect together. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if y'all know, but at the cookout, even Aldo really liked Marisol. Like the whole family loves Marisol. So to see these two just like really into one another and slow dancing here in the moonlight, it's just so cute. Now I want to, oh, okay. Fancy Marco. I see you. Can we like um, stargaze with one another? I don't think I can, but let me come up here and pay for the bill for the table really quickly because I don't want them to think I'm skipping out on my check or anything. Marco's really good about paying for his meals. Oh no, I feel bad because I think that Marisol is gonna sit down and eat some. But we're gonna come over here together and just kind of hang out on the beach side. I was thinking about having them draw in the sand if possible. I think they're kind of stuck there, <laughs> but we can draw a heart in the sand together. Oh my gosh. Yes. Draw a heart in sand together. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. There's chickens over here. Hey chickens. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Just kidding. Marco is drawing in the sand. He hasn't felt like this in so long, like genuine actual love and i like this for them now we are going to kiss her hands and tell her we've had such a wonderful time with her tonight like i'm so into you he's gonna confess her his attraction to her and she's like marco this was honestly the best date i've ever had and i think that they're gonna go for a first kiss because he's really into her guys so he's like marisol i'm so thankful that you 
are out here with me because I mean this is the best state I've ever been on and it kind of took my mind away from just life in general so thank you so much for coming out here with me and Marcel's like thank you for bringing me and he's just gonna go ahead and kiss her guys and oh my gosh look at the background that is gorgeous Marco you outdid yourself with this date sir like I am so happy that you came out here with her and she is too now that was not enough I feel like we need to kiss again I think that he would probably kiss her on her cheek this time because he feels kind of forward for kissing her like that but that's okay oh I can't kiss her on the cheek I don't think um so Marco is going to give Miss Marcel a hug goodnight and tell her to have a safe ride because her Uber just pulled up in front of the restaurant. So she's about to go get in her car and head on home. And he told her to text her when she's home safe. So they are just so cute, y'all. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> but he is just so into her. Like he has never thought that he would feel this way about anyone. So the fact that Marcel and him are just clicking just like that and it's just come so easily like I'm so happy for him but we're gonna go ahead and get Marco home as well and I'll see you guys in the morning okay guys it is the next day and Marco's feeling flirty still he's just watched a tv show and after watching it he started thinking about Marisol but guys Marco has decided to officially introduce Marisol as his girlfriend or wants to ask her to be his girlfriend and he wants to introduce her to his mom formally and also after he asked her to be his girlfriend he wants to kind of tell Aldo that he's ready to move forward in a relationship with somebody. So he's going to come out here and he is going to have a hoops competition with his son just to have some fun. We do have a little event that we're having tonight. We're going to have a weenie roast. It starts at 7 p.m. and it's going to be at Marco's house. And he invited Marisol and obviously his mom. Aldo, I think he's going to be present obviously because he lives here, but I couldn't invite him to the party for some reason. But it will be starting in an hour. I hope that Aldo comes out here so we can play basketball. But yeah, he's like, hey, you know, I've been wanting to tell you something, Aldo. And Aldo's like, what is it, Dad? Like, what what do you want to tell me? And he's like, I think that I'm going to be in a relationship soon, son. And you already know who she is. And he's going to be like, oh, yeah, who? And Marco's like, oh, um, you remember that girl that I went on a date with a long time ago and she was at the family cookout thing that you, me and your mom threw? I don't know how he threw that basketball in there. <laughs> and Aldo's like, yeah, I remember her. And he's like, well, Marisol and I are getting kind of serious, son. And I think that I'm going to ask her to be my girlfriend tonight. And Aldo's like, oh my God, dad, that's so cool. I definitely think that you should, you know, I think you and mom are a officially ready to like move on and just be happy so I think that's great and Aldo is going to come over here and give his dad a big hug because he's just so happy for him because he remembers what a dark place he was in and Aldo is just so proud of the man that his dad has become and he loves this like before he wanted his parents to be together you know as any child would but he notices now that they're so much better apart alrighty so our weenie roast is about to start so I'm gonna have Marco come over here and light the fire pit it isn't dark just yet but I do want to get the fire going so that way when we do come over here to um, do our little weenie roast it's already ready to go now host needs a cooler oh okay um let me get a cooler really quickly I did not know that was a requirement to have a cookout uh, let me see if I can find it real quick all right so I got the cooler ready to go now everyone can grab a drink and everything and just enjoy themselves now it looks like Marisol was about to walk up to him oh my god she gave his wait did I invite the I invited the wrong mama embarrassing <laughs> this is the wrong mom this is Gabby's mom <laughs> <laughs> how awkward is that oh my gosh embarrassing I thought I invited Marco's mama Marley oh my gosh Marley you come over not Gabby's mom 
I'm actually just going to tell her just to go away because that's weird. I didn't mean to do that. Embarrassing. <laughs> so she's going to go away. Marley will be right over. And look at him. Oh my God. He's already getting flirty. It says feeling smitten. Just seeing a sim can set the heart a flutter. And cozy campfire. Oh my God. Yes. Hey girl. How's it going? Oh, she just sat down and just started roasting her marshmallow. Let's thank her for coming. And I'm also going to give her a residence key because, you know, I know we were taking this slow but Marco already knows like he's gonna be with her for a while so we're gonna give her residence keys so she can come whenever she wants and then I think we're also gonna ask her to be our girlfriend officially I'm so excited he's like I want you to feel comfortable in my house and everything so I want to give you a key so that way you can come and go as you please and if maybe you stay the night and you need to lock up the house you can do that and she's like oh my gosh thank you marco i wasn't expecting that at all i'm so happy that you're into me and now they are officially becoming girlfriend and boyfriend this is so cute i love this and i think i want to get a picture with her if possible because you know we need one and oh my god he still has pictures of gabby we have to delete those um let's take a photo with yep. miss marisol and then i would like to take a picture of marisol as well so he can have that oh look at them oh my god perfection i love it she's so adorable and i can't get enough of her so i am going to invite marisol and marley and aldo to hang out at the fire pit with me that way we can roast some weenies and just kick it aldo is so excited he's like oh my gosh i get to hang out with the adults now let's roast some marshmallows together miss um miss garcia doesn't look too happy but hopefully that's just the look on her face currently um hopefully she's excited to be here but let's tell a group story let's tell an adventure story about gold booty a ghost story about a goblin yeah let's tell a ghost story about a goblin to everybody marco really is that guy i love it <laughs> Ooh, marco is officially telling his ghost story and i love how his mom is like come on now marco i told you that story when you were a kid like you gotta tell us a different story so maybe we can tell um an adventure story yeah because our mom apparently did not like that story at all <laughs> i love how the dog's just sleeping back here it's so cute but our mom was definitely requesting something different so let's tell her a funny story i guess maybe something that she's going to be into now this party isn't going as great as i thought it would but that's okay um i would like to ask marley to introduce herself to our mom or just be like hey you know you should get to know our mom a little bit so let's talk up or ask about another thing yeah let's talk up um where is she at Marley Garcia. There we go. And she should introduce herself to her that way. So let's see. Oh, don't go yet, Mom. Wait. Wow, I'd love to get to know her. Oh my God, that's so sweet. She's like, hi. So my name's Marcel. I know we haven't officially met, but me and your son have just started seeing each other. And Mrs. Garcia is like, oh my gosh, I remember you from the cookout. You're so cute. And I spoke with Marley and find her quite pleasing. Oh my God, that was great. So they had a good connection there. Now our mom is leaving. So I think that I'm actually going to prompt Marcel to stay the night with us. So let's see, where is stay the night? So I went ahead and added Marisol to the family, not because I want her to um, move in or anything, but I wanted her to stay the night and I thought this would be the easiest way to do it. So she's going to be a part of the household for this episode. She's so adorable. I'm so happy to have her here. And it looks like she has some sentiments. I think they're all with, uh, yeah, with Marco. So let's go in and read those sentiments. Oh my gosh. Love birds, boyfriend, perceived as very attractive. Um, she's smitten by him well marco sent smitten about her um marisol sentiments about marco friendly advice closer from happy memories and um marco finds her very adoring so that's a really cute i'm so happy also you guys will get to meet him but this is carlos carlos is actually with nina who is you know gabby's old best friend so nina i don't know it's so complicated it's such a like a weird situation <laughs> so nina and Carlos are together, right? So that makes um, Marisol Everly's aunt, 
I believe. Yes, it makes her her aunt, like her step aunt or something. And then if we get married to Marco, that makes Aldo our son. It's so weird. There are like so many different connections. It's crazy. But yeah, we're going to have a little sleepover tonight. And I think these two are going to cuddle up, watch a movie on the couch or something. I think that they would do that. So let's watch a movie with Miss Marcel. I hate that she's trying to clean up right now. Like you do not have to do that. <laughs> I will handle it. It's so fine. And I'm going to dim the light so that way we can just enjoy this moment. Let's go ahead and turn off all lights and sit down and watch a movie movie together they are so cute y'all okay so we went ahead and dimmed the lights and i'm going to look deeply into marcel's eyes and just cuddle her a little bit they're so cute let's go ahead and give her a kiss i like how these two are just comfortable and you know what i kind of want to put marcel in her pajamas just to show that she's staying the night she's gotten comfortable she feels really good just staying with him so let's put her in her pjs she's so cute look at her y'all and i need to put marco in his pjs as well because this is a sleepover i like to pretend so let's get him dressed and everything and look at them oh my god they're so cute he's like you're so sweet marisol i am so happy that we are officially together like you have no idea and the fact that she went ahead and tried to tickle him my heart y'all i can't stand it i know i'm all over the place but there's just so much going on and the fact that she's such a playful sim oh my god i love it <laughs> And Marco, maybe we should make a move and cuddle her. I like how they're not even watching the movie. Like, the movie's just background noise, if we're being honest. And Aldo did go ahead and go to bed for the night. So he's asleep. And I guess we'll just enjoy our alone time with Miss Marisol. Now, I have no idea where Marco's arm went. It's, like, broken or something. <laughs> but this is so sweet. What else can we do? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm con I'm controlling her. That's why. I was like, that's so weird. Um, oh, no, we're not going to woohoo yet. Um. Um, but maybe we can just embrace her. She's actually trying to watch the movie. While as Marco, he's just like, mm, it's okay. <laughs> but, oh, I hate that they're not sick. But they're both actually really tired. So I think that we're going to call it a night and we're going to go to sleep in here. We can woohoo with Marcel, but we're not going to. So I'm going to send them both to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. So, Marisol is apparently trying to win Stepmom of the Year already. She went ahead and packed Marco, not Marco, but Aldo, a lunch. Unfortunately, he did leave before she could finish it. So, it's just sitting here on the counter, but the thought was so sweet. And the fact that she's running around the house and she's trying to keep the house clean and tidy or get it clean and tidy for Marco is just so kind. Marco would definitely tell her, hey, just chill. Like, I'll handle that later. Don't worry about it. But she just insists on, like, helping out because she's very OCD and loves a clean house herself so she's doing a bunch of stuff just because she loves to do that but um it looks like it's time for Marco to go to work so we're gonna go ahead and send him away he told Marcel to make herself at home and that he would be back later but guys I am going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here I hope you all enjoyed it if you did please leave a like down below let me know what is this please leave a like down below and let me know how you guys are feeling about this new relationship for Marco and Marisol I hope you guys like it because I've been waiting to deliver this for so long. But yeah, I hope y'all liked the Marco episode and I hope you liked what happened. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys.